Hey everybody, it's Ben here, and it is cold out today. It was negative 20 Fahrenheit this morning when I woke up. Uh, it's warmed up a little bit since then, but dang, it's still cold here. And behind me is a Tesla Model 3. Um, a new friend was out and about today, driving uh, further than he thought he would, and cold does have an effect on batteries, of course. So he asked if he could uh, charge it up at my place for a while. So right now, this car is charging at 40 amps from my garage. Part of that coming from the solar panels there, and I have have a thermal camera attachment for uh, my phone I thought okay it's cold out why don't we see what it looks like to charge a Tesla at 40 amps with a thermal camera so let's go take a look at the cord and at the car so this Tesla is plugged into a NEMA 1450 connector that I've got on the wall here that's actually going to my remote box which uh, it has a display and on off switch and some other features uh, and I can see here the warmest spot is right where the contactor is in the box and that's also right next to where uh, this Tesla portable uh, charge connector is plugged in. I can feel it's warm there. Feels nice. <laughs> it's cold out. Feels good on my bare hands here. Um, certainly though it is uh, it's definitely warm and you can clearly see that. And if we follow the cord down, I got some other stuff here unfortunately kind of in the way. Uh, we can actually see the portable, the UMC, just a little box, nothing too fancy. Feels just a little warm, not a lot. I mean, if you compare it to my skin temperature here, um, it's, it's definitely warm. It's got 40 amps going through it, and it's not that big. And then if we follow the cord, the concrete floor of the garage is pretty cold, and this cord really shows up nice and bright against it. Uh, I just have it running under the garage door right now. Of course, the garage door, uh, it's metal on the side. It's also cold. And if we take a look at my hand, you know, we can certainly leave some nice handprints, which makes me wonder, we've got this warm cord on the cold floor here. I bet even if I just move the cord over, you can actually see the warm spot of where the cord was on the floor. <laughs> That's kind of cool. And this is all in the shade, which is nice because sunlight um, throws off the thermal cameras quite a bit. But let's go outside, uh, recalibrate the camera, take a look again. So unfortunately, um, sunlight itself kind of throws things off here. Uh, but we can see, here's the cord coming from under the garage, under the garage door. And coming up to the uh, the Tesla Model 3 and it looks like it does get warmer kind of up in the end of the cord so I'm going to use my bare hands here feel my way up the cord I really couldn't feel it being any warmer I mean to my bare skin it all feels kind of cold. I mean, it's cold outside. Um, this cord doesn't feel warm at all to me. More than anything, it's just the fact that it, it's pretty darn cold outside over overall, and the uh, that cord is very warm compared to everything else. I mean, it, it's minus 10 in the shade here right now. It's cold out here. Uh, I don't know if we can get much of a better view. Uh, of the Tesla. Uh, mostly it's a very shiny car, so a lot of what we're seeing is really just um, kind of uh, due to the reflections uh, coming off of it and the sun shining on this side. But if you look right now, the quote unquote hot in the video is about 10 degrees Fahrenheit and the cold is negative 10, negative 15. So again, it's just kind of cold out. Brrr. I don't know. I don't think there's anything we really see anywhere in particular on here. Nothing looks quote-unquote hot or anything like that. Uh, maybe a little bit at the front of the car, but this is also the side that's been in the sun. In fact, uh, we're parked in front of my solar panels. Uh, solar panels are nice and cold. That's actually a really good thing for the solar panels. They totally dig that. Uh, they're going to produce more current the colder they are. So 
If it's sunny and cold, that's awesome. Love that. And in case you were wondering, that's what uh, 10,000 plus watts looks like on my power meter. It's just cranking through there. Uh, pretty ridiculous. Glad I'm not using that much power every day. Okay, that's it for now. I hope you uh, enjoy these videos. Please uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'm going inside because it is cold out here. But until next time, stay charged up.